Welcome to the online platform, Education Unlimited. As we continue our search into math, we look at the topic in algebra, subject of the formula. So the key in subject of the formula is to make one component or variable be on its own side of the equal sign. So we look at this example, an addition of subject of the formula. In the equation, A is equal to B plus C, make C the subject of the formula. So we pull, so we write A is equal to B plus C. So we would want C to be on its own side of the equation. So we put B on this side, so it becomes a minus B, so that on this side we'll have C all by itself is equal to A, but the B comes over to be a minus B. Very simple. C has now become the subject of the formula. Alternatively, we can also subtract B from both sides of the equation so that on this side would read A minus B is equal to B minus B plus C, so that this B cancels this B, so it would leave C is equal to A minus B. My signature comment, very simple. Very simple as we move along. In this example, the question asks in the equation y is equal to x plus 2 make x the subject of the formula. So that we will write y is equal to x. plus 2. So we want to make x the subject of the formula, so we subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, so that this side would read y minus 2, and on this side it would read x plus Two minus two, so that this two cancels this two, so that it should now read on one side, but we put it on this side, x is equal to y minus as we move along, in this example, a subtraction example, in the equation n is equal to m minus t, make t the subject of the formula. So we rewrite the equation, n is equal to m 
minus t so that we want to make t the subject of the formula so we move this minus t here to come over here to become a positive t and we move this m over here this n to becomes a minus n so that we write this minus t becomes a positive t on this side is equal to m minus n. Alternatively, we could have put n is equal to m minus t so that we would add t to both sides and minus n from both sides so that this side would be n minus n plus t, so this would be one side of the equation, would be equal to m minus n minus t plus so that we pull the red marker to show that this t cancels out this t to become a zero and this n cancel out this n to become a zero so that on this side we would have t is equal to m minus n. As we look at the multiplication example of subject of the formula, the question asks, in the equation, m is equal to rv, make v the subject of the formula. So that we would want to find v on one side, so we rewrite the equation. m is equal to r. V, we want to find V, so we divide both sides by R, this side by R, and this side by R, so that we pull the red marker so that this R cancels this R. So the equation would now read V is equal to M divided by R. So V has now become the subject of the formula. So our final example in this subject of the formula presentation is a division. In the equation, make M the subject of the formula. And the equation is also an application. D is equal to M over V, where D is also density, M mass, and V volume. This is the formula for density, but it asks, the question asks for us to make M the subject of the formula. So to make M the subject of the formula, we want to have M on one side of the equation, so we divide this side by 1 so that we can now cross multiply m by 1 to be m on this side is equal to d by v to be d v on this side so that m has now become the subject of the formula so that mass is also equal to the density multiplied by the volume. A division example and also an application of subject of the formula. Please remember,
to like, share the videos, and subscribe to this channel as we continue our search into math subject of the formula. Very easy, very simple, as we enjoy the subject math.